Gary Salo, Gold Motor Canada. This is a Magic Controller version 2, the MX25 series. I have it hooked up to the motor here. Let's see where are we here, the three phase wires. Here is the hall sensor plug. I don't have that hooked up, so the only thing that's running to the motor is the three phase wires, nothing else. We have the controller and down on the other part of the controller down here at the bottom we have the positive and negative from the battery coming in and the throttle plug and the yellow plug is for the lights the LED lights on the throttle and we're hooked up to this battery so we're going to power up the battery I have two beeps these are the warning beeps to tell you that the hall sensors are not detected okay so now we have the throttle here and the wheel and the wheel starts up so it's a little bit of an abrupt start but it is definitely running in sensorless mode here I don't have the stand secured very well but you can see the motor starts up spins to full speed okay we're gonna go back over here shut the battery off and now we're going to take the plug for the hall sensors and plug it in where it goes okay and now we're going to power up again no more beeping all sensors are detected and now the wheel should spin up nice and smooth See, it doesn't have that abrupt start it had when running in sensorless mode but this controller definitely works in sensor and sensorless mode so now I want to show you something a little more interesting. This is a different wheel. This is a customer's wheel that was returned. It actually has bad hall sensors. I have the battery on and we have lights on the throttle. And when I turn the throttle, it just jumps a little bit like that. It doesn't do anything. So the hall sensors are failed in here or something like that. Not really sure. But I just want to show you something interesting if you turn off the battery and I'm going to go to the controller I don't know if I can do this with one hand here but I'm just going to unplug the plug for the hall sensors okay I got it okay so it's unplugged so now from the motor we only have the phase wires hooked up so recall if you could this wheel had fail, halt, failed hall sensors. So now we're going to turn the battery on. We've un There's the two beeps to indicate that the hall sensors are unplugged, which was what we intended. Okay. And now when you turn the throttle, an abrupt start, but the wheel turns. So now the controller is running in sensorless mode. So if you were out on the road or something and one of your hall sensors failed, you could just unplug the hall sensor plug and be on your way. Some people actually prefer to run their motors in sensorless mode. So I'm just going to turn off the battery again and plug in the plug just to demonstrate. Turn on the battery, go back to the throttle, lights on the throttle are on, won't go. So these controllers run in censored and sensorless mode and this can definitely save you out on the road. Gary Salo, Gold Motor Canada.